Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm here to show you how I do a highlighting and contour routine with no foundation. So I'm starting off with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and Ginger and I like to use this because it has like a salmon color and plus it's really really close to my skin tone especially when you blend it in. So I apply this over like my dark spots where I have hyperpigmentation, those typical things or any redness and then I go over that with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and Custard so it so I can highlight and give myself that nice highlighter effect when I like take my pictures. So if you guys need any a full in-depth list of what I'm using, all my products will be listed on my blog at monicaoxy.wordpress.com. So I'm taking this beauty sponge that I purchased from like Burlington and I love it. And I'm just going to dab. You make make sure you dab because if you rub, it can definitely cause wrinkles, especially underneath your eyes. And dabbing just gives you a full effect and it's just so much better because who doesn't love full coverage? Okay. And I have that beauty mark right there and I just love it. So I go, I use for my concealer, I go around the beauty mark and I dab around it. Okay, so I save my eyes for last because I hate creasing underneath my eyes. So I just take so much time underneath those eyes just to make sure there's no creasing whatsoever. However, if you apply too much concealer, you can take a makeup sponge and you can like kind of pull down your eyelid so you can drag away the concealer and your creases like I'm showing you here. So now I'm using my Ben Nye Luxury Powder, Banana Powder. This is my all-time favorite. I purchased other ones, but I don't know why I ever did because this banana powder is seriously bomb and it's my favorite thing ever. And I'm applying this powder all over where I applied my concealer. So I'm taking my bronzer brush in my Kat Von D palette and I am going to use that cool shade and I'm going to apply that over my cheekbones. I definitely like warm shades and I always have but that cool shade is so pretty. So I'm using that over my cheekbones and then kind of go up to my temple so I can blend it with the darkest shade but right now I'm going to take the middle shade and I'm going to go under my jawline and my forehead because the forehead is huge. Then I'm taking that dark shade and I'm going <laughs> um, to put it on my temple. But I was extremely heavy handed that morning. So yeah, that's what happened. But I fixed it later on. <laughs> so it wasn't as bad. So I always take my MAC Give Me Sun and I go over that contour powder just to give me a little bit of warm effect like I love. Just blending it. I'm not really blending, I'm just like packing it on top. So I'm taking that Ollie and Olivia brush and I'm going to dust it off my nose so I can go in with my Kat Von D and Angle brush for my nose contour. I will be doing a nose contour video soon so no worries. So I'm going to take that brush again, that Ollie and Olivia brush, and I'm just going to dust all that powder off. As you can see, I was fixing that temple. <laughs> so I'm using the ColourPop Limbo, I believe. It, like I said, all my products will be listed listed on monicaoxy.wordpress.com. That limbo lipstick was crazy. As you saw, I got it on my nose and it stains so bad. Like it would take forever to get your stains out. Like you have to be like a serious perfectionist to put this on your lips like perfectly without any stains because I definitely had to like take some wipes and some paper towels to wipe off my stains. 
as you will see soon. So I left this long part in just so you can see that like it's so important to go so slow with these ColourPop lips. Definitely apply chapstick on. Definitely do not reapply because I made both of those mistakes and it was flaking like crazy. But I love my brown colors. So I loved it anyway, but I, now I know how to probably wear some ColourPop lipstick. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much all the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I would definitely reply to everything. And like I said, check out my blog for all the products listed. Bye, guys. Thank you so much again. Bye. We are, we are reaching for the stars But we're making this too hard And I want